Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to look at how to solve the, to find the derivative of x to the power of eight cosine five x. So to get started, um, just a, a quick note that I would personally make if I see this problem is, I would say, okay, let's look at this result over here and well, you're not going to have the result well because we know the result we can kind of work backwards a little bit so this part looks like the result of a product rule and this doesn't look kind of like this doesn't look like a, a derivative that we might be familiar with of this function but or i mean of this function but that eight is down in front and we know from the derivative of e to the 8x let's say you would have eight times e to the 8x, right? So there's possibly some chain rule and product rule here, which is something that we can keep in our minds as we work through this. So to get started, what we want to do is, is we want to use properties of exponents and logarithms, uh, specifically the natural log in this case. So let's go ahead and let's say, let's recall that a to the b is equal to e to the natural log of a to the b, but then we can move that exponent out in front. So that becomes e to the b times the natural log of a, okay? So, and we're assuming that all of our arguments for our natural log are gonna be the absolute value, all right? So now let's let's take a look at x to the eight cosine five x. And let's say that x is equal to a and then b is equal to eight cosine five x. So then for a to the b, we can write for x is equal to a. Um, so x is equal to a up here. So right here, this x is equal to a. So we're going to have a multiply a multiplication against the natural log of x. And then b is going to be this 8 cosine 5x. So let's go ahead and write that in so we have e sorry about that e to the b so here our b is 8 cosine 5x times the natural log of a still looking here so a is going to be x so we have natural log of x all right so now what we want to do is we want to find the derivative of this thing. So if you recall, the derivative with respect to x of e to the f of x is equal to f prime x e to the f of x, or you can write this as e to the f of x times f prime of x, okay? So we're going to call this entire exponent up here. We're going to call this our f of x, which is really composed of, let's say, a g of x and h of x. So then you can start looking at your product rule, right? So then let's say what we're going to do next is we're going to say, all right, um, e to the f of x times f prime of x is going to be equal to e, and we'll let our f of x be the entire 8 cosine 5x ln of x. So that's going to be 8 cosine 5x times ln of x times the derivative with respect to x of f. So again, 8 cosine 5 of x times the natural log of x. So now you can see that we are pretty close to being back to this form here, right? 
So we, we can tell that just by looking here that this is going to be a product rule and we're going to have two components uh, with addition unless one of them has a derivative that's negative, which, which we see that we're going to have that. So we're, we're on the right track. So let's go ahead and find that derivative. So then we have, we leave the e to the f of x alone. So e to the 8 cosine 5x times the natural log of x. Now the derivative of 8 cosine 5x times ln of x. So if this is my, let's call this, if this is my g of x and this is my h of x, then it's going to be g prime of x times h of x plus g of x times h prime of x. Okay? So then let's go ahead and work that out. So we have e to the 8 cosine 5x times natural log of x. Now this product rule is going to end up becoming the derivative of 8 times cosine 5x is going to be a 8 times a negative 5 sine of 5x. So the result is negative 40 times sine of 5x times ln of x plus, now we just write down the g of x, so that's going to be 8 cosine 5x, and then the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Okay, now let's go through and we are going to simplify. Um, and we're going to go ahead and let's just simplify this and write it a little cleaner. So uh, real quickly, let's do a note for e to the 8 cosine 5x times ln of x. Um, this is equal to, let me move this down a little bit. This is equal to e to the power of the natural log of x with x to the power of 8 cosine 5 of x, right? Because we take this uh, product that's in front and we turn it into the exponent of the argument of the log function, right? Okay, cool. But we know that e to the ln of an argument is just the argument, right? So that means this thing is just equal to x to the 8 cosine 5x. Okay, so now our derivative then becomes, and then I'm going to factor out um, an 8 from each one of these. And our derivative becomes 8 times x to the 8 pop to the 8 times cosine 5 of x, all times negative 5 times sine of 5x times the natural log of x plus cosine of 5x all over x. And if we zoom out and look up here, we have 8 x, 8 times x to the 8 times cosine 5x, 8 to the x to the power of 8 cosine 5x, cool. Then we have times um, negative 5 sine 5x times natural log of x, which we have here, cool. And then we have plus cosine 5x over x. So we have found the derivative of x to the power of 8 times cosine 5x. And that is how you solve that. Um, the main trick here is to use these log properties right here and convert this, okay? Um, so you can get it into the form of e to a function where you know the basic derivative 
of e to the function right here. So you convert it into something that you are very familiar um, with the rules of. So you just convert it to that using these log properties up here. And then it becomes a very simple um, uh, derivative of e to the exponent with kind of like some chain rule mixed in. So yeah, that's it. If you have any uh, questions, comments, concerns, uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section. If you have any requests for things you'd like me to work out, um, if there's not a, a quick time frame turnaround on that, then I'll, I'll make a video and post it for you. Um, if you need it like within a couple hours or something because you have a test you're studying for, or you're trying to get your homework done or something like that, um, I will do my best to try and if I can't work out a full solution for you and just send you a screenshot, then like if I'm on the go or something, then I'll respond with like, oh, hey, you need to do this. So just let me kind of know where you're getting stuck and I'll do what I can to help you out. Um, so it's basically like free tutoring if you want to take advantage of it. Um, what I get out of it is that you watch the videos and hopefully you subscribe to it. You don't have to, but hopefully you do. Um, and that's what I get out of this. So feel free to take advantage of it. And I look forward to seeing some of your requests. Thank you.